We're in, Bert, we're in. First semi final of the doubles, British Open 2023. Robert Schenkman here, next to me, Bertie Ballot, my co conspirator for a lot of uh, commentary um, experiences this week. Bert, how are you? Yeah, doing all right, thanks. Looking forward to this match. Should be very close. As am I. We've, um, we've got Ben and Bryn, who obviously know that each other's games extremely well. Yep. Um, and Rob and Nikki, um, the second seed. So uh, this is the bottom half of the draw. Obviously, we've got Camden and Tim and Steve and John on after this, which will be fantastic. Um, but this, again, is a, is a difficult one to call. Obviously, got Bryn Sayers. Um, Everyone around here knows what he brings to the table um, in doubles. Exceptional high server, exceptional competitor. Um, and yeah, at 38 years of age, um, he's been around the block um, and won most of the things there are to win. So he's obviously partnering yeah. with Ben today. Oh, look at all that he's done. He has actually won the British Open. This is just doubles, right? Yeah. Oh, no, no. Actually, I think he's won the British Open. <laughs> That's won singles. singles, yeah. That's singles. That was 2012, I think. Ah. And the World Championship doubles as well. I think with yep. Ricardo Smith at Seacourt. Ben Taylor Matthews again, um, coming in at 39 years old. Um, Bryn's partner, and the world number four at doubles. Him and Bryn, the best of British against the best of Australia. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. But a bit of a you forget, you international forget. flavour. Yeah. And these are Ben's um, doubles career stats. So he's won two, he's won three opens. He's over recent years, he's obviously regularly par partnered with Bryn. But um, going back before Bryn, was it, did he have a particular partner? Or? No, just sort of changed up quite a lot. Yeah. I can remember him playing with um, KB, with John. So won two opens. Lumley. Open or? Lumley, yeah, won yeah. the French Open with Lumley. Uh, the Goner, obviously. Yeah, yep. Vagona, so won the Recent French success, with Vagona. Yeah. Um, anyway, we've got Rob Fay on the screen. Um, not much <laughs> that you can really say about yeah, him. What can you say about Rob Fay? Mm. Um, not retired from doubles, but retired from singles. Um, still a formidable force on the doubles court. Yeah. Um, the best player ever. So. Um, and both these pairs will be going to um, Chicago for the world doubles quite soon. Yeah, I believe is so. Right. Um, yeah. This is quite an interesting match to watch. So yeah, there'll be eight players at the World Doubles, sort of four pairs, and I'm I pretty sure those will be locked in. The same as Bordeaux in uh, 2021. Same pairs, I think, more or less. Uh, it was exactly the same yeah. pairs, yeah. Um, exactly the same teams. Oh my God, look at all that stuff. Rob's yeah, won. no, it's unbelievable. You literally need a bigger TV screen to see all those stuff, all those uh, titles. Nicky Howe again, um, another Australian, um, head professional at Aiken of course, uh, one of the best target hitters in the game so expect plenty of uh, explosive stuff from Rob and Nick. Him and Rob obviously have won the British Open doubles before I think, have they? Yeah they have. Yeah. I think they won it in maybe a year ago, two years ago? Maybe even twice actually. Yeah, I think they might have won it before. I mean, that'll surely come definitely from the screen. They've definitely played in a few finals. Yeah, he's won, they've won it twice. Yeah. Um, which is cool. Won the US, won the Aussie Open. So just lacking the French to complete that doubles grand slam. Not sure who's marking this one, Bert. Do you happen to know? Uh, oh, Ben Ronaldson, yeah. See at the back. Ben Ronaldson and then Jack Josephs is marking the second match. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. i tell you what, I think we could get to a point where maybe there's like... Mark, I know there's marks and referees sometimes. Yeah. Um, I don't really know why they don't do that. So some opens, like. Um, yeah, it's a weird one. I mean, we've been talking quite a lot about having VAR. I think we're not. We're actually not that far away from that, really. I know. I think the way technology is going. This, yeah, but I mean, with the current streaming, it's quite easy to tell if the mark is made or yeah. if you think the mark has made a mistake. I mean, I think to be honest, Mark has all been pretty spot on this week, mm. and uh, yeah. we're very lucky here um, at Queens to have such a good team of markers with us. So they've actually, these are Ben and Bryn's matches. Oh, they smashed yep. me and Darren. Um, and then obviously played in the French Open in 2022 where they lost yeah. against Camden and John. Uh, have they won an Open playing together? No, no, they haven't, no. I mean, it's two quite fairly similar game styles playing together. Uh, yeah, I agree, I agree. Um, which I mean, is quite interesting. That can obviously work really well. I, I've heard Bryn say that he often favours playing with um, more of a weapons player. Really? I remember, I think in the French Open interview, he said he was looking forward to playing with um, 
Lewis Gordon, for example. So we've obviously got four of the top ten doubles players in the world. Uh, Rob, his, rank, his doubles ranking has slipped out to four, um, probably because he's quite... Um, it's not as not as active yeah. on the singles because obviously your doubles will ranking points. Quite a lot of that is based on your singles. So um, yeah, we've got them all there. Um, well, what's, what's your prediction on this one? Um, I mean, if it's the same Rob Fay that it has been for the last twenty years, yeah. then it's quite hard to back against them. You know what? Um, that's actually quite a good observation. To be fair, I think yeah. Let's just see how Rob how um, Rob plays I'm backing him to really turn it on today in France he played with Rod McNaughton um, he was still pretty good yeah and he just and I think it was I can see Ben there ben choosing not to mark from the door which is quite interesting N so not marking from the net well, it's pretty dangerous sometimes yeah well I, I wouldn't want to <laughs> neither would I I think I mean common consensus is apart from hazards you can probably call it better from there But yeah, no, I'd say Rob and Nicky probably in four would be my guess. Um, but it depends a lot. It depends. Um, Rob might Rob might not be as sharp as he was this time a few years ago. Um, and yeah, Brin's. I mean, Brin's been playing super well recently, taking Lumley to five sets yesterday. Yeah, he so did. I know. Um, so tough. For and Brin. Ben, and Ben's literally just won an open in doubles. So I mean, yeah, uh, this could be a good one. Very tough one to call. Go and on, exciting Nikki. for the world doubles too. Nicky's pink shoes are quite striking. That oh, I love a pair of pink shoes. Yeah, didn't Zach say something about those? Like some yeah, yeah, you can only play in them if you're plus though. Get the live stream up. here at Queen's today. This Bryn looks pretty sharp, ready to cover that ball. That is out. I mean, we could see right up here that's gone all the way through the beeps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Interesting again. to see, I mean, from the very start, quite a standard server goes up formation. I imagine that Ben will go up when he serves as well, given they're both quite neutral players. I think they're going to do that, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Sometimes that sort of chunked force, a bit of a shank, can pre present difficulties. Yeah, just produce some racket errors early on. Yeah. Teams just sort of figuring each other yeah. out in the first game. It yeah, certainly has that feel anyway. Might just be in a. The balls do look. It does look a little bit slower today than yeah, it has the done balls in The balls have definitely slowed up as the weeks yeah, come Yeah, definitely a lot slower. Just a few of those forces just kind of lagging a bit. Case 
is the second gallery, no strips. That's very good. Second gallery, no strokes. Very accurate indeed. Um, obviously got Ben's fantastic replay on screen. Oh wow, he hit that pretty hard in a second. <laughs> like a force. Was that Nicky shot? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you've got the live chat answer for the comments. So yeah, none, first none comment. yet. Numbers are growing there. Still time, still time. Good to see, I think, first time this week, really, we've had okay, a bit of a busy um, the second gallery. side galleries look a lot mm. busier, which is good to see. Of course, we had Junior Day on today, so yep. lots of uh, budding juniors will be uh, watching this one. I remember watching, I did a Junior Day about six or seven years ago. No way. Yeah, Chris Chapman and Steve Vigano are playing. Really? Yeah. 15 Love oh chased the second gallery. They had um, bright blue sounding shoes, which I wanted. Well played. Hazard chases, of yeah. course, win the point when you're playing a chase. From Nick as well. Yeah, both Rob and Nicky looking very sharp at the start of the match. Question from Lewis Gordon: Did Bertie not attend Junior Day this year? Um, no, I was gutted. He didn't have enough space for me, sadly. Otherwise, I would have been there getting some training for Max Truman. Oh, good yeah, Nick. Very great solid. shot out the middle of the racket. Just both Rob and Nicky looking yeah, a, just a lot more aggressive love. at the start. <sighs> two games to love them. Ben and Brim barely on the board here. I mean, both Ben and Bryn, they tend to kind of work their way into a set a bit more. I think it's fair to say. Quite often a slower starter. Sure. Oh, wow. That's a really weird That's balance. done a little bit, hasn't it? Yeah, the ball, it does, the kind of flight isn't looking normal today. 15 left. Yeah, that's very good. Keeping it tight down that, yeah. that line. I see from here, but Rob looks like he's got some taping on this racket, some yellow tape. It's quite interesting. Oh, Using a Clairefay model. Oh. Oh, wow. I mean, we've seen a few balls come up yeah. there this week. Well dodged. Look at that, he's got some <sighs> yellow taping on it. I think I could have caught that one. <laughs> see? Oh, yeah. Interesting. Thank you. 
think the Claire Fairy racket is one of the lighter. It's something like three, three five five or something. Pretty light frame. Yeah, I think so. Super I mean, light frame. I think overhead Claire say in the bar that Rob actually doesn't have any match rackets, so he's just used hers. Yeah. Good for the environment. Well, he's quite often using the Claire Fairy kind of lighter model. Maybe he prefers it. Yeah. Oh That's wow! A great shot. So precise from Rob Fay. Feathered that one into the grill. Yeah, they built a good lead quite quickly here. Rob looking very, very and solid. And one noticeable thing is that um, Rob and Nicky have just been at the service end for the last couple of games. Yeah, they have. Bring this get chase here. Yeah, it's a good hit. Yeah. Going down the line, never a bad option in doubles. Especially that sort of middle hole. Yeah, that's right, that's what I meant. Yeah, middle of the court, yeah. Yeah. Just, I feel like as soon as you go cross court, um, it introduces like a much more aggressive play pattern with the other guy going in front of the tambo. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a great volley oh, from Well Brin. played from Brin, inch perfect. Great shot, but I mean, he will be looking for. He was, I mean, maybe he was hoping for the chase there, looking for a gallery. I don't know. But I don't know. Sometimes in doubles, it's just important to get the point. Yeah. Oh. I'm sure he won't be too worried. Some pretty interesting network from um, from Faye there as well. He's moving around quite. Mm. Yeah. He's actually hanging back quite a lot, isn't he? And they're mm. moving up chase. during the point. Oh. oh, that is the that chase is very that helpful for Ben and Bryn. When you, um, Rob, when you go from um, when you go from singles to doubles, do you change your serving much? Or no, I think you just sort of want to serve um, tight serves and doubles really. You yeah. can just try and not give them anything loose because um, that's going to lose you points. Um, I remember um, slower serves better. Yeah, I, I remember um, the other Rob <laughs> telling me that um, when he serves a railroad and doubles, or if he serves a railroad, he tends to go a lot slower. Slower. Um, oh yeah. yeah, I know. I saw a railroad's one of those says I've never really been able to grasp. Well, you've got to just put loads of spin on it, is what yeah. you told me. Um, but I mean, interesting because all players on court are doing high serve so far. Love yeah. lead chase better than two. High serve at Queen's obviously very effective yep. if you can get it right. Yep. What's that, Claire in the gallery? Has lost the chase. It's a very aggressive five. strike from Rob. Than five. Oh, great serve! Great serve! Great, from, uh, great, from great ben. serve! And they're going to need more serves like that if they're going to stay yeah. in this game. Oh, that's caught Nick. Oh. That's caught Nick in the mouth. I think he'll be okay. Yeah, he looks all right. Yeah. That um, the Queen's Club ski ramp we we talked about quite a bit this week on the um, on the pen on the um, receivers and penthouse was mm. helping. I think just with a serve like a demi PK or an, or an underarm twist that Bryn uses for a second serve quite oh. a lot. Be interesting to see how that sort of mouth hit affects yeah. Nick. More high stuff from Brim. Oh, 
Oh, oh yes. Brilliant from Rob. Oh, Ooh. that net cord's really helped the him out. The net him out, but it's a, but it's a good volley anyway. A really good retrieve from that kind of York, York length at Nicky's feet in front of the timbre. Mm. Oh, and that's it. That's right down like, the middle. Didn't look like a bad serve. We'll have to see that on the replay. Um, honestly, you just give I Rob mean, Fay. I'm not sure there is a good serve against Rob Fay, honestly. Yeah, it's a good shot from Nicky. Well played again. This for 4 1. Frames go, that's probably as good as it gets. No reaction from Sayers. Brief <laughs> apology. <laughs> He's meant to be like cross court. <laughs> Great hands. Prince done really well there, so the of two, yeah, really good defence. Two Brin. full pace forces there. He's just not going to go away, is he, Bryn? No. Um, just so determined. Let's have a look at this replay. What Ben's got for us could be this force. Oh, the one off the frame, amazing. So we're at three games to one. Servers lead. Last um, I mean, this is a huge game ceiling. for Ben and Bryn. I agree. 4 1 certainly yeah, doesn't sound quite as good as 3 2. Yeah. Got nice that we've got that mobile camera. I think Jackie is uh, operating that one today. Yeah, I mean, I think really they're fighting to stay in the set here. Oh no, Jackie's behind me. Definitely not her. <laughs> oh, and into the net. Juice. Last gallery to beat. Just clip that side wall, adding that extra layer of difficulty. I mean, you'd have put all money on Rob Faith and finish uh, on fin Rob Faith finishing that ball from just past the last gallery line. Took a bad bounce. Took a very uh, weird bounce. I felt like Sayers and Taylor Matthews were back in that rally, but great volume from Nick. Oh, and game four. And a good finish from Rob, as we know, but. Momentum's a big thing, yeah. and um, as soon as they yeah, lost that, that, that advantage point... Yeah, that, I mean, they'll be looking to close out the set from here, really. Oh no, it's been one-way traffic, really. The balls are playing really slowly, though. Looks like all the sort of lives... I mean, they look, they look like members' balls. That will the kind of thing that I use. <laughs> that will probably happen if they've been smashed around all week. First hazard. No strikes. Double really. Rob swinging and missing at the ball, and Nicky's still there to cover him. 
still covering the um, the main wall miss. You know in lawn tennis, Bert, when you can't really, you're not really hitting that sort of baseline depth. It just feels like Ben and can't push Nicky and Rob back at all. Like yeah. they're the ones just. Oh, it's I mean he's, Yeah, he's just made, he's just caught Rob out though. I think it was a little bit too far off the court, maybe. But yeah, it was that. I think. I think he forgot where he was. Belt. Ooh. I am um, on um, Charles Thor's Instagram this morning. I saw. Um, I think tomorrow morning there will be a uh, a kind of press conference almost. And one yeah. of the questions I saw was um, for you, which has been your the best, some of the best matches oh. of the tournament that you recommend people to watch. Wow, Rob. Wow. Just sorry, there's something about Rob's balance there on that Maywell defence. He made that look easy. 30, Such a difficult shot, as we all know. Bryn looks very strong in front of the grill there, I think. That might be their sh uh, stronger formation with Bryn on the um, Bryn covering the grill. Are they going with that every point now? Well, no, but um, when, Bri when Ben's returning oh. now. Oh, it's oh, just slightly lucky, lucky off the edge of the winning gallery. Has it better than the first gallery. Yeah, it's very rare at the top level that you see people swapping sides consistently during the point. Yeah. Um, I think I once saw. Tim and Cam, Tim was staying in the middle. Um, really, what from the husband? Well, mate, sorry, man, no, that was Nicky and Rob, and I think during the World Doubles last. Wasn't uh, Rob injured or Nicky injured? Nicky was injured, yeah, that's yeah, right. That's yeah, probably yeah. That's probably the only time I've seen it at the top, top level of doubles. Mm. Um, I mean, a lot of the time in five set matches, that first set doesn't matter that much, so great get from Nick there, as we can see on the replay. So, and Ben you and really want to kind of get, your, get some momentum going, don't you? Yeah, Ben and Bryn still figuring this one out, really. 40, 30 receivers, Hazard Chase, better than the first gallery, Hazard. Oh. Oh no. Oh, so close, obviously playing a Hazard. Well left from Bryn. I could lose the chase, you know. Oh. Wow. Oh, that's so good from Bryn. That's amazing. Wow. 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 No reaction as well. Jeez. And he won it with Hazard the door. That's amazing. Just seen on the live chat. Um, Popsky W. Where oh. is this being held? I believe they still have an original court at Hampton, co uh, Hampton Court. Shakespeare was a big fan too. Well, I don't know about Shakespeare, but they do have a court, that Hampton Court. I think it's, apart from Falkland Palace, maybe the oldest in the UK. Advantage. Yeah, definitely the oldest used court. Definitely. Um, but no, we're at Queen's Club London, um, right by Barons Court Tube Station, if you fancy being here in person. Built in 1886, as, yeah. the, as the main wall tells me. Oh. But yeah, good to have you on the live stream. Oh, oh, what a so shot. good from Nick. Ben and Bren not doing an awful lot wrong there. Juice. He said that so well. Yeah. Head over the ball. Chase better than two. Juice. And a good cut volley. A strong cut volley, too. Four left. Really nice shot. Brings up advantage, and they wouldn't need at that point with uh, Burden 2. Receivers chase better than two. Have we got a replay of that fantastic point? So Nick obviously 
trying to hit the hazard. Yeah, Brin's Brin's sort of volleyed that out of the gallery. Inside hazard the door, and even that get there by Rob is fantastic. Brin yeah. just fine. Oh, we've got an unbelievable new view on the mobile Great camp. new angle, courtesy oh. of Ben Geetenbeek. You can just see the speed at which Bunch they're receivers operating. Receivers chase better than two. Brilliant. Yeah. Better than two to be. Yeah, not quite happening for Bryn now. Oh, wow. That's it's gone all the way out. out. Just trying to hit us, but... It. Mark Heffen um, Heffernan. Great coverage. Thank you, Ben. Great to have you watching, Mark. Mark Heffer, Glad course, you're enjoying the commentary. Of the Real Tennis Dogs um, Instagram Oh, yeah. Account. Yeah. So, uh, I think Monty and Percy are their names. Hazard. Hazard 1 and 2, advantage. Um, we're going to get another fantastic replay from Ben here. Oh, we're not. Just so, just Hazard 1 and 2. Budget receivers, hazard chase, one and two, hazard. Oh, thanks. from Nick. Shot. Oh wow. Oh. How's he got that back? Oh. Oh my god. It's a hazard chase, remember. Oh. Finish it. Oh, oh there it is. Way. I've missed that. What a rally. Oh, oh wow. what a rally. What a rally that is. That's really, really good. Oh. I don't think Robin nicked it a lot longer. Juice. I mean. Chase. Better than three. Juice. Stayed in. Wow. Great shot from Rob. How many players would still go for the forehand on that angle? <laughs> sort of offering his racket up in apologies. He nearly hit Ben there. The second gallery, two chases. First chase is better than three. Better than three. Lost the chase. Lost it. Advantage servers chase a yard better than the second gallery. Bay and Howell open up a 5-1 lead. That was a brilliant rally. And that's game for the servers. Five games to one. First set. The standard of doubles here. Outstanding. Just had a comment from um, Gordon Woodman. Thanks for um, being in the live chat. I think Rob's master of the grill will be decisive. Gordon was with us for um, the Lewis Gordon and Claire Faye 
against Saki on the yeah. smart doubles actually wasn't he mm. I think it might be two, but Ben and um, Ben and Bryn have been doing a really good job of got, um, defending the grill, I think, from behind the tambo. That said, they're under a lot of pressure. Nice roll from Bryn. Chase, better than the last gallery. That's the chase. Fifteen left. Good. Oh, yeah, Nick. Well, not much I'll tell you what. That. Just chatting to Lewis Williams, and like, there's been, he's just making a comment about Rob Faye turning. That turn yeah, from yeah. Nick there was just explosive. Mm. Really getting One a good run up onto that ball. Yeah. Wonder who taught him that? Probably Rob. Yeah. So Faye and Hal still have the advantage here. Looking to close out that first set. Oh wow. Great strength from Nick. Yeah. Yeah, it's so good. I mean, Ben and Prince did have the penthouse ball. Yeah, but I mean, slightly unlucky bounce. And again, great defense from Rob and Nicky. I've been so impressed. I've been so impressed with, impressed with the attacking volleying of um, Rob and Nicky because um, yeah. it's so easy to like keep control yeah. of the service end if you're really attacking that grill and tambour area on the volley. So taking time away from your opponents and then um, sort of keeping the pace on the ball in the rally. Yeah, they seem to be the ones dictating the play at the, at the moment. Yeah, dictating the pace of play as well. Yeah. Forty fifteen receivers chase better than the last gallop. We're gonna have some water. It's all this talking. Lost the chase, fell worse than the last gallop. Well left from Bryn. Thirty forty. Going with the bobble first serve. I saw him use that a bit yesterday 30, against Joel. Great volley from Nicky. Wow, oh, that's a good finish from Ben. Yeah. Ben's just hit a potential winning gallery, which has been Jeez. volleyed by Rob and then a grow. Again. Shot. Finding the grill, Ben. Popsky W has asked. So Very is there fast. a difference between the two the ends? Um, and the short answer is one ends for serving, one ends for receiving. Um, if I try and explain the rules, I'll probably do quite a bad job of it, and it will take quite a long time. So, um, but yeah, no, the, the red area is just for serving. Sure is color coded and in general the red side is tip is the fully red side is probably where you want to be to be honest especially in doubles yeah I tell you what standing at hazard the door forcing yeah <laughs> lethal zone um so ben and Bryn have got another Chase advantage point they have had a six. few game points in this first set worse than six Oh, it's just missed it. That's unlucky. Shot. Oh, that's so oh, good. And finishes that one off. Well played. Yeah, Rob just not quite having five. enough juice on those on those boats to find the hazard galleries. Oh, 
Ooh. Oh, straight. is that straight? Yeah. I think, that, I think that. What's that hit? Cool. I think that hit Nicky actually. Yeah. But it did look like Rob was going to hit it. Interesting choices. Nicky's been really good at covering the miss main walls all match. So. Sometimes that big fat boast in doubles, where it yeah. looks like a, a main wall's Thank being lined up, can be difficult. Yeah, it's just so disruptive, isn't it? Yeah, you've got to adjust your positioning, yeah. like you're playing a backhand rather than a forehand. Thirty lap, first set. Go. Oh, bet. Probably questions about the rules. <laughs> oh God, I'm the, the wrong. I barely know the rules. Yeah, red to serve and green to return. You got it. Ah, oh, it's up for me. Ah, it's good finish from Rob. Great whip. We really actually do like the questions. It gives us something to talk about. Um, so yeah, no. Keep asking. Oh, Ooh. it's good heat from Ben. Really good hit. Ben Gaten beat adding that as a dead on his stats. 40, have we had have we had any stats yet? I mean it is early yet. days still. I mean just sort of Oh it's great touch. Bryn taking his hand off the racket there. Such a good volley in from in front of the grill. Oh, oh. lipped out and the main will tamper. Yeah, chaotic bounce in that oh, no. left corner oh. for Ben. Disruptive. Yeah. So Faye and Howell have served 12 more points than Bryn and Ben, which is probably to be expected. Just are really covering any of whenever Bryn does get that penthouse ball on the backhand side, just feels a little bit like all his options are covered by Rob and Nicky. I agree. He doesn't he doesn't have that back the same backhand force that maybe gallery. Rob does. So it's quite hard. A backhand him. force is such a challenging shot. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, it's never. And it's such a shot. fine margin, really, because if you miss it, you're in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Especially in doubles. I mean, even if you get it. Oh, it's well played, yeah, Bryn. Targeting the advantage, right. chase the second gap. I think even if you get your back and force right, it's normally at such a comfortable height and never yeah. going to be that yeah. quick. I mean, in singles, it. it can catch the other guy out just because, you know, just because it's quite a rare shot. Yeah, it's but a change um, up, isn't it? But in doubles, yeah, no, I can see why. So, um, yeah, back to uh, the questions for tomorrow. I was just thinking about any particularly doubles matches from this tournament that stand out for you? I think I was actually. So I answered Giles's poll and oh, right, okay. answered the singles match between Zach Edel and Will Flynn as my match of the tournament. Yeah, that was huge, um, wasn't it? About 10 match points saved. And my player of the week, I voted for Nino Marola yep. for taking a set off Camden twice and also having a great five set yep. win against Helen Gordon. So. And even, I, mean, the second gallery. I remember watch, watching him play Max Truman in qualifying and he looked, he looked, um, it looked like Max was going to take that one at one set up and leading, but, um, but he did fight back really well. That's good heat from Nick. He's going to go again here. On the roof. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh. Rob Faye dead on. The amount of times you'll say that, and they come in all shapes and sizes. Gordon, I'd agree with you. I think with Devon, it's definitely, I mean, it's such an iconic part of Rob Faye's game, and it's, it's causing Ben and Bryn a lot of trouble right now. Oh, it's him. Chris Ailey, good to have you watching. Hey, Thanks for being in the, um, in the live chat. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, Lewis, from, on, Chris Ailey's, on Chris Ailey's account. Um, the best four, player, best four doubles players on the tour um, the best four is, I think Tim Chisholm is, is, that, is that the I question? Think, is what's the question? Well, objectively the best four or best four is in relative to their singles? Um, I'd say just the I best th four doubles players. I think right? Tim Chisholm is up there. Tim's a great doubles player, yeah. Um, and I think Cam worked, Cam and Tim work together really well as a pair because they, they have a plan Chase and the they, know how to, they know how to, they know each other's games. 
Mm. Um, so yeah, I'd put Tim up there. Rob. Um, slightly boring answer, but Rob, Rob, Cam, and Tim, to be honest. And then I think it's quite open. Oh, what a shot. Oh, Nicky, great touch. Probably, um, it probably would be basically the best singles players of the last Jeez. 10 years, Rob, Cam, and Tim. Who would yours be? Thank you. Well, top top doors players. Like Steve four. I can't think of a fourth particularly. Steve up there for me. Steve Chisholm. Um, oh, Vergonia. Lewis Gordon. I, I, I never got to see him play, really, but someone like Ricardo Smith. Oh, yeah, good shout, Bert. Or even someone a bit old like Rory Gunn from, like, I, I think um, Ricardo was a quality doubles player, yeah. Had great touch. So it might Always. be those four. Of the, of in the last ten years, maybe it would be those. But yeah, no, thanks for watching, Lou. How, how many times can the ball hit the loop and then hit the ground after? So oh, it, doesn't, so um, it doesn't matter what, what the ball does, apart from it gets one bounce on the floor. So yeah, walls, penthouses, roofs, that doesn't count, it's just about the floor and it gets, gets one bounce like, um, like lawn tennis. Steve Vergona very entertaining to watch in doubles. Yeah, no, he is. I mean, he's just got... I mean, his weapons are so strong. Um, also very successful, just having won the French Open with Ben Taylor-Matthews. Lewis Gordon not enjoying his um, mention there in the top four doubles players in the world. I mean, just take it, mate. Just take it. Was Lewis Gordon one of your top four? Hang on, I didn't hear. So you won't even listen to me. Um... I thought yours was Steve, Steve's Steve Tim. Tim. It's Who an interesting one because you get outright doubles guns, don't you? Like guys who just, like, yeah, he's a doubles beast. Like, yeah. Um. Oh. Oh wow. Oh, I didn't quite see that. I think it's just hit the penthouse and just run off um, for a chase. We've been joined up here in the top gallery. There's so many people watching now. All the kids from the oratory school. So I bet we can see this bounce off the roof again now. I mean, this set is not done and dusted because Ben and Bryn are really coming back. No, they're back. fighting back, yeah. They are. Well, I mean, even if this set does go the way of um, Rob and Nicky, it's good to see them building momentum for the second set. Yeah, I agree. I think that's what it's about sometimes, just get, um, yep. get a few games yeah, on never, the board. Get never want to give away any, an easy set. Yeah, nothing easy. Lost the chase well served from Ben. Good tight railroad, very difficult to beat. Yeah, going with the railroad more and more now. I think with these older balls, it's slightly like cutting back more, so yeah. it's a bit more of an option than it, it is might be. I I, well, I find it easier to serve with, ol with older balls. Mm, so do I. Good take from Ben. Oh, oh no, he's just missed it. Great yeah, it's good tennis. One thing that strikes me about Rob's play, even there he's hitting a sort of sidewall boast, is still such a heavy ball. There's so much energy and spin in that ball, just how he connects. Oh, oh straight. That's Hard unlucky. Lewis Williams says Steve are going to right up there and doubles equal to Cam, um, with Tim and Rob slightly behind those two. Second. 
probably looking for a bit more there. Oh, Rob Fay. Oh, and that's just not worth hitting sometimes. Quite intelligent choice that from Ben, because I think not a lot of good could, could have come mm. from him hitting that ball. Chance for a racket error, chance for a straight timber. Yeah. You can always leave a chase if you want to. I remember um, this summer I was in a, in America with um, just out there playing a, a junior tournament. Um, and I was there with Ollie Primmer, Will Flynn and Max Truman and Tim Chisholm gave us some um, Tim Chisholm gave us some doubles coaching. And I, I would say I'm pretty weak at doubles, definitely compared to my singles. But um, he completely changed my thinking about doubles. And um, I never really thought about it how different the return of serve is when, when um, there are four people on court. So that's probably why he's in my top four. Good answer. Has a second. Yeah, oh. great shot. <laughs> Who doesn't love a winning gallery bell, hey, Bert? Um, Tom, yeah, no, it was a shame um, to not see Peter Wright playing. Um, probably would be winning the over 50s at Lords. Um, yeah, I've had the pleasure of hitting Peter Wright a few times at Queens. Um, yeah, he's not playing the over 50s this weekend. I think, in a way, I'm slightly great. I think, was it was it him pulling out that ha had the draw change that affected me? I can't remember. I definitely did get a very favorable draw no. change. Uh, oh, actually, yes, it was in the singles. So, um, so, yeah. so I've got him to thank. Um, <laughs> I guess so, hey. So, yeah, Peter Wright, I, hope, I, I haven't actually, I'm not sure what the specific injury 40, was, 50. but I know he's had some troubles over the years recently. Hey, but you make your own luck, mate. Yeah, make your own luck, but but having a draw, ha having a first round bye helps. Yeah. Um, Good hit from Bryn. I think I'd gone behind Chase the backs there. The yard worse, 40, 50. So again, we are still in this first set. Rob and Nick went to, uh, brought up a 5-1 lead really quickly, but Ben and Bryn have, have hung tough. They've, they've, they've stayed strong and um, still hasn't, haven't um, lost this first set. So scoreboard's not quite on the screen yet. Um, we've got Mark Heffernan. Best what doubles match ever was World Doubles Chase final at Preston. Rob and Ricardo versus yeah. Cam and Tim. Cam so and that's, Tim. that's the match I was thinking about when I put Ricardo yeah. in my top four. Two set points. I never actually got to see him play live, but yeah, watching it back on YouTube, he looked mm. yeah the real deal. He now plays paddle tennis, doesn't he? Yeah, he is. Yeah. He is a successful paddle player. Oh yeah, it's Game. good set from and the first, first set. Just as I was yeah. saying, they were hanging tough. They lose the set immediately, so. That is the set, um, six games to three. I'm Barney Townfield of New York Racket Club. Oh, hey, Barney. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, glad you're enjoying the commentary Proper in the stream. Second set, level. Um, hanging out with the remaining Shankmans in Philly. Um, yeah. How'd your dad get on in the, uh, is it Jimmy Dunn? Yeah, my dad and my sister are in Philadelphia right now. I think my sister's in a singles rackets fan. Oh, so. that's right, and you, you were too busy playing the British Open, right? Too busy, yeah. yeah. Oh, good shot Great man. shot. I'm glad to hear you guys are enjoying it over there. Hopefully not as many violent weather swings in Philly yeah, as yeah. this week. Oh, is it probably be snowing quite soon over there? I think Nick, someone's going to have to hit that. Did you see that bit? Nicky out behind Ooh. the timber because he thought it was a fault, but it was uh, dropping in. 15 all. <laughs> quite funny. Oh, it's good pressure from Rob. Five and six, thirty, fifteen. Five and six. That I guess it hit the neck and popped out a bit. Bryn finding the angle there, not going for a main wall turn or an early side wall, but actually kind of going inside of Nicky. Clever shot. Well, yeah, it's very good. It's a tough hole that sometimes when you go yeah, up in front I mean, of the I guess it's just you want to hit a backhand. Some pre-empting pre Nicky running up to cover the timbre. Mm. 
about lines and length doubles. Isn't that what the whole game's about, really? Then in singles, sometimes you can afford to have a bit more margin for error. Like, let's yeah. say, and when I say that, I mean, like, with regards to as long as you push it into a corner, as yeah. you get the width, yeah. you don't really find Yeah, in doubles, in doubles it's you so can. much harder to kill the ball, isn't it? So you've yeah, so got to keep getting it back. Your line is quite important in doubles because you can put yourself yeah. in a bit of trouble by hitting overly wide or too narrow. Like, yeah, challenging game. Still working it out. I think also in singles, at the top level, physicality and Chase, mentality may be coming to it a bit more in singles. Yeah, perhaps in doubles you can rely on sort of instinct. You're sharing, you're sharing the pressure. Yeah. It's physically, or at least the way I play doubles, it's physically easier. Um, these guys might disagree. Chase five and six. Great volley from Brian. Oh, yeah, okay. good play from Brian. Interesting though, I mean he went with the wide post there, looking for the middle. Um, I think seeing both corners were covered. Yeah, good shot. Chase the second gallery. Definitely want to be serving at this stage in the match. I'm really enjoying watching Bryn defend those hazard second galleries. Yeah. He's hitting some really cool angles. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nicky <laughs> really unloading the, uh, well the, line, unloading the cannon there. So we've got first right. set stats coming him. on second the screen. And worse than the second. Similar number of targets. Mm. Very similar. Mm. Actually, Ben and Bryn have hit more than Point Rob and Nicky. One. I mean, it's a deserved first set for Rob and Nicky. I think they, they have w one more point, served more. I mean, they're doing everything right, really. But um, I know, Juice I think it might, might be seeing a different um, Ben and Bryn in the second set. Mm. I think they've grown into the match a lot definitely more. Definitely making a lot more balls, dealing yeah. with Rob's forcing a lot better, I think. S slightly different choices of serve, especially from Ben. Don't think we saw the railroad last serve, last set. Oh, well played, Nick. Oh, good shot. Brilliant shot from Ben. I mean, Rob, Rob was running up to cover the hazards, but I mean... Advantage, hazard chase, worse than the second Rob was the line, the first. Uh, what the chase? The hazard bench oh, yeah. to win the chase. I think it was the first. Found a really good angle there. Chase the hazard. Hazard chase. Oh, Rob deletes it into the door. Very good shot. Jeez. Always so purposeful with those targets, mm. Rob Fay. Yeah, I mean, it could sometimes look with such long rallies like the shots aren't. I mean, aren't always maybe the most considered. But actually, I think each shot that Rob hits, he's got a specific point in mind I think yeah I think looking for a chase looking for a dead on that kind of mentality in doubles is really important yeah it's just um, a focus that I think I know I, when I play doubles I sometimes zone out and just kind of look for a, an easy winner and worse chase. than the last two chases I tell you what Bert I should have probably brought my coat up here because it's getting quite cold now you have got um, a vintage Neptune blanket behind you do I yeah oh I will be getting involved with that wouldn't touch it if tell I were you, you but what? Um, it's a bit too vintage for ben me. Ben me. I'll tell you what, he does the cameras, he does the streaming, and he provides blankets. This guy, there's nothing he cannot do. Juice. First chase is hazard, hazard better than do? a yard. Hazard chase. Hazard better than a yard. Suddenly so much warmer. Oh, feels like that's the first error he's made. First, first real like unforced error I've actually seen from yeah from this pair. First one that stands out from any of them on court, to be honest. Worse than the last game. Yeah, I think I don't actually think there have been many at all this match. Oh. Court. Yeah, good force from Brain. Game. First game of the second set. And I think this is the first lead that um, first lead of the match for Ben and Brain. We're a proper wavelength, so I was just about to say that. Great minds. <laughs> Oh, oh wow! 
I can remove that ball from up here. I mean, I would never have thought to get that shot. So good. Yeah, it's amazing what happens when you just take the pace off it. I always forget that. I mean, it's hard to do that, right? You can easily mess that shot up. Yeah, yeah. You've it's got, got egg on your face. Um, yeah, it was Nick Wood that um, I, there was a junior academy or <gasps> deadness. Oh, that's a stroke. Strokey wokey. Thank I you. think Ben knew as soon as he left yes, it. He yeah, a deadness. Okay, it was Nick Wood, and the main message he had for um, well, juniors was that um, was how important it is to just slow the ball down on a kill shot, and that pace really. I mean, pace is helpful, but not everything. <gasps> It's in from Sayers. Great shot. Two-hander. Brink did very well to get that ball back in play. I think that was it's just always good when he takes a hand off and yeah, just plays yeah. left handed. Um, but I mean, yeah. I mean, they've actually been defending the winning gallery very well, but not, not much you can do there. Oh. That one perhaps cutting down a little bit more than, than uh, Rob was thinking. 30 40. Yeah, it's too good. Great wow. shot. Wow. You knocked that volley in the winning gallery like it was nothing. One game all. Winning gallery quite an important shot in doubles because often it's the target which isn't protected. Yeah. Well back from Ben. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's a good shot. And Nicky, was that Nicky? Yeah, Nicky will be annoyed to have missed that one, but um, yeah, pretty solid rally from Ben and Brim, really. That's very helpful for them. Message from Pete Dickinson from New York. What an all-star commentary crew. I assume Pete is in Philadelphia now, maybe. Um, hey, Pete. Nice hearing from you. Hello, Pete. Hello, my friend. Hope everything's well at New York. Oh, he's done very well there. Oh, oh Nick Fines has a second. Has it, it just goes to show, just get, get him that one more ball back. Forcing Nicky to go for his shots. Exactly, that is basically doubles though, because yeah. at the end of the day you're forcing your opponents to actually hit a really precise spot on the wall. You can't just smash it into the stroke area. I mean, it's a, a bit winner. like um, when you watch the kind of top guys in paddle tennis, mm. they're not going to... I mean, you can't. the only winner you can hit is hitting the ball out of court maybe. It's really about forcing the error. It can be a little bit boring sometimes, but um, yeah, I know there's paddle compilations on YouTube, which everyone yeah. seems to watch these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some pretty insane line. rallies. I guess they wouldn't be on the pro paddle tour if they were making racket errors. No, <laughs> it's true. Oh, what a cup volley that is! It's been interesting the with these slower Worse balls, the um, which have been worn in as the week's gone on. Um, Rob has really taken the pace off that ball a lot on a volley, like. It short. Oh, great oh, wow. volley from Vrim. So strong when he gets the two hands on it. Yeah, he's a real weapon. It makes that. me question whether, I'm, whether I should be using two, to be honest. Good hit from Rob. Disguised that one quite well. Yeah, well back. Oh, that's so good. As is that. 
Well, that's unlucky. Oh, Rob hits the roof. Right, now to finish it. Oh, Nick. And a very, very wise Chase, choice to take six, chase with the Nick. David Hay, good to have you with us. Thank you for watching. Not a bad serve. Great serve from Bryn. 40 30, Chase, 5 and 6. It's a uh, replay of uh, Bryn's volley there out the uh, hazards. Um, have we actually made predictions for this match? I think I, d I think I said. Uh, I, think, I mean, I, I did in I my said own head. Nick, I said Robin Nicky in four. I think. Chase I think I did in my own head, but I just never really said them. So. What were yours? Uh, I think it was six three. Nick uh, Faye and Hal. <laughs> I'm joking, but uh, I, I mean, I think Robin Nickel yeah. outlast Bryn and Ben, but uh, the scoreline not sure. Double is always so tight. Been all right. It's limping a bit. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh yeah. He is actually. Is he all right? Jesus. Oh yeah. He's what's, uh, up? what's up with him? Oh jeez. Jeez. He looks like he's walking a little Walk bit gingerly. Walking okay now. He was hopping a bit during that rally. Has had an epic five-set battle with John yesterday. Jackie Joseph. Got Jack Joseph in the gallery. gallery. The marker for the next match. Table tennis extraordinaire. Yeah. But saw the light and played real tennis eventually. Ow. Bryn floating at boast into midcourt and getting the racket error from Rob. Faults. Oh. We've all miss, miss hit that under twist before, eh, Bert? Yeah. Definitely shanked a few into the last gallery. Nice shot. Well yeah, well for him. I think I think he looks a lot better now. Could have just done those things during a rally when you. I think he's still holding something, but I mean, I'm sure he'll be fine. He's he's as tough as they come, Bryn, so I'm sure he'll be all right. Um, as we are in, I think we're at Juice, aren't we, but two chases? Um. <laughs> we'll find out at some point. Yeah. Um, this second set very second close. Gallon. You should probably ask the commentators. Oh no, it's an advantage to say isn't Taylor Matthews second gallery to beat, so what can Rob produce here? Oh yes. In. Well done. Great volley from Ben. Almost a smile Brin. there from Bryn. I know, find it. Always worrying when you see Bryn smiling on court. How well, often do you see an ace at the top of the game like that? Why are we lost? Why are we lost for words? <laughs> and yeah, well, back to hazard worse than two. Fifteen love. One of those shots where I mean, all you can really do is frame it back when it's that tight. Yeah. Well, out from there. It's a good shot. going for Nicky's face there. Second gallery. 
it's obviously pretty interesting seeing Rob play in the opens without having to play singles, so he's obviously so much yeah, fresher. Yeah, a lot fresher, yeah. And rather than going deep in the draws. I remember Rob saying he used to, recovery used to be a big thing for him and he, towards the end of his singles career. I remember saying something about having f a lot of foot pain or something? Yeah, I'm not really sure. But um, it's definitely going to be a lot easier for him. Yeah, I, I can't wait for the World Doubles in Chicago. Mm, 15 love uh, receivers. Hazard chase worse than two. Hazard. So 15 love for Sayers and Taylor Matthews. Um, I think I might put this blanket board away around me, actually. <laughs> like a cape. Oh, Nicky. Oh, great shot. Sayers with the double hander. With the double hander. Just so many more backhands don't work in doubles. <laughs> there we go. Bit of a hold here. And catching Rob with a wide one. 40 love. Only 40. No. <laughs> Did he volley that off the penthouse? I, I think he could get it back, but for whatever reason. Um, an impeccable lob. Well, the applause, it's a 3-1 lead. Might be, might be interesting to see a replay of that if one's available. Exactly. Hard to catch them up here. From ben. A collector's Good item, feedback. a back end volley missed by Ben Matthews. Antonio Matthews, sorry. Fifteen love Robin Nick. That's a good drive. Yeah, good shot. One yard worse than the last gallery. Fifteen love. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's hopping about, Bryn. Did you see that? No, I didn't. I, oh, yeah, I can we'll see get, it. We'll get the replay. It's almost like it's an ankle thing, or like calf. But doubles is the game he's, if you're injured. He's smiling, so... Yeah, I'm sure he will. I mean, when is the next big singles event for these guys? Assuming none of them go to Australia. I mean, I think most of them are going to Australia. Really? Half of the uh, three of the four in the chat, in the chat, in the uh, in on court. Seriously? Yeah, mate. Uh, Rob's going, playing. I think I believe doubles with Claire. Oh, I heard about that. Ben's going, playing doubles with Darren, and Nick's going, playing doubles with Chappers. No way. Anyway, we're going to see this lob. Let's see what happened here. Ah, uh, okay. So I think Rob's basically hit like the the, the I think he's hit the bando. Whatever he's hit, he's not got much ball. Oh, up. great replay there. Thanks, Ben. It is pretty grim when you get that ball underneath. Yeah, the bando. it's a horrible shot. Yeah. Um. Nicky going to the. I, I suppose actually Nicky went last year, lost in five to Chapman in the final, didn't he? He. Um, I suppose Rob. His, his family live in Australia, don't they? Yeah. Ben, uh, ben when was the last time Ben went to Australia? Yeah, 2019, maybe. Played an eliminator there in 2020. Yeah, that's the only one that I maybe didn't expect, actually. Oh. And a you trademark go, will you? Rob Fake. No, trademark Rob Fake at volley.
Oh, Nick. Oh, the good finish from Yeah, Ray. sharp. Playing chase worse than second gallery. Nick trying to stick it in second, but um, just going high. Yeah, odd, ch odd choice when Bryn's there defending the gallery, but... Um, Fifteen forty. It's a good shot from Nick. Uh, worse than five, fifteen forty. So chases in the Nick, priceless in doubles, of course. So we've got a mobile camera looking at the players, all looking quite relaxed at this point. Bryn smiling. 15-40, servers lead, chase worse than five. Yeah, they both, I mean, both Ben and Brynn are having some fun on court, which is good. That's just nice, isn't it? Play a bit yeah. of doubles with your mates. Yeah. What could be better on a Sunday? <laughs> oh. That's nice, very That's good. nice. Yeah. Nice volley. Controlled into Hazard's second. Faye and Howell pull a game back. It's in. Oh, no. I think we could see it early up here. One off the throat. It's suddenly getting a little closer than it was five minutes ago. What, the scoreline? Mm. Yeah, yeah. But there's just not much in doubles, is there? Really? Yeah. Like it normally just hinges on a few points or a few quick games. Like the rallies have been. Oh, oh and it was just Brim so was tight. Then, and he le I think Bryn left it thinking it was going to go low. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't missed. see how that snuck past the timber, to be fair. It's going to be tight. Pretty steady with that backhand volley so far. Defended the grill so well it? before that. Yeah. But, um, just a rare racket error. But I mean, mm. I guess it was forced. It was coming quick. Nicky. Is that a warning? Um, Racket abuse? Ben, yeah, Ben normally doesn't hold back with the warnings. I don't think that was that bad, to be fair. Three for Nick. And that is what I'm talking about. Like, so I don't know about you, but in doubles, I struggle with that kind of margin shot. To see how Nick's sort of hit that crack in between the timbre and the side yeah. wall just to find the winner. It's like just I such a fine angle you yeah, can make. Right? I just couldn't do that. And suddenly, in sing I mean, in singles, if you hit a flat timbre, you can get away with it the rest mm. of the time. Yeah. And double suddenly. I mean, All even at this level, mm. even when, uh, it, even if it is going in the grill, if it's going there slowly and not anywhere near a wall, then Bryn and Ben are both very good at covering it, really. Anyway, we're in the crucial seventh. 15 love Fay and Howe. I think Ben probably in two minds with that backhand off the back wall. Oh. Yeah, this is a big game for Ben and Bryn to win if they want to take this to... Um, then we'll take the set. Rob not happy with the ball, I think. Maybe it's just not one of the lucky ones. Yeah, exactly. Maybe it was just 13 to serve. It's good volley. Jesus ben collects the second gallery. Which is nice. Composed choice. Jane Taylor. Um, Watching how strong these guys are on double-handed shots, mm. can the comms team advise oh. how to introduce double-handed play into our oh. game? Three, I'm not sure I would, three. personally. I mean, yeah, uh, you you won't see Nick using two hands. I, I think, think it Bryn does. I think it works for some. I mean, Bryn, 
Cochran famously has got his own technique that he makes work. Yeah. But I wouldn't. I mean, I've had loads of lessons with Brandon. He hasn't. He. I haven't really seen him teach his way of his particular kind of grip and yeah. double-handed setup for anyone else. Because it's the wrong way around, right? I, I think, think that's like a like, yeah, I think that's just how he learned to play when he w when he mm. was ex when he was a junior at Seacourt. Yeah. Um, he's got an exceptional backhand, but I mean, so do the other three players on court in a single-handed backhand. So yeah. I wouldn't particularly advise it. That said, if you struggle with being particularly wristy, maybe um, if you feel mm. like you can be a bit too flicky. I think it helps if the ball's behind you. If you come sometimes. from lawn tennis, it can definitely help. Oh, that's a good serve. Playing to a second. That might be going in. No. That's going in. No, it's not. Ooh. Oh. Oh, super hard volley. <laughs> Mate, that is quality Great from Rob Perfect. I mean, he had to find the perfect length, though. Yeah. Otherwise. He was in a pretty dangerous position on the court. It was interesting how he moved up so slow, like it was such mm. quiet. Yeah, he creeps there. up the court, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. Creep is definitely the word I would use. It's like, ah, oh Ben, it's trying to sort of take all the noise out of his steps. Yeah. Forty low. Like he's walking on 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 snow. Although I think you'd probably hear that as well. Good serve. Say such good serve. That's magical tennis. Nothing better than watching a great artisan serve his high serve. Yeah, I mean, Prince high serve at Queen's. Does it really get much better than that? Yeah. Prince high serve at Paris, probably. Yeah. And oh, all yeah. the way out. Hard, Hard to control look. that with that much pace. Hard luck yeah. for Brennan Ben, but they go 4-3 yeah. down, they've lost the last three games. The crucial seventh going the way of Rob and Nicky. They have to fight hard in the set if they want to take it. Mm. Oh, that's good defence. Oh. Oh, such what a lovely rally. From Rob and Tick, such good lines though. The yeah, they gallery, do. Like no on, on that, coming up the court, standing in the hazards, going down the middle there, to force an awkward ball. That's flush. Um, oh, is that flush? Yeah. You look as well how good Rob and Nick are on that forehand volley above their head, which is obviously a very difficult shot. Yeah. You've only got a small racket face in real tennis, but they play out so easily. Yeah. Oh. minds about whether to leave that one but he collects second gallery anyway. And second gallery, two chases. Fifteen love has the second and chase the second. Let's have a look at this point. Which one are we looking at? Oh, that brilliant backhand from Rob. Two bounces before the side wall. Um, perfect length and width. So has a second and second gallery. Two um, difficult chases to defend. Hazard, the second gallery. Hazard chase. Oh, Ooh. that's a good shot from Brim. Bryn Ray shaking up Nick there. The Sorry? Gallery. Bryn Ray shaking up Nick there with that double hander. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Rob. <laughs> so good from Bryn. That's an exceptional ball. That is truly Walking exceptional. Up. Beating second gallery Very with a really it. firm doesn't backhand. Doesn't normally volley. put all that much pace on the ball, especially on the backhand side. Yes. That's good heat from Ben. Shaping off the main wall and going down the middle. Game very strong there. Yeah, I set. think down the middle is the way forward and doubles, really. It's all these guys are so... It's, it's always going to sort of promote that indecision, isn't it? Yeah, and it's... 
All these guys are so good at Can recovering the, the main wall. What was that sound carrying through or something? I Districts. think it's more just the light is distracting. Yeah. Especially if Rob's trying to hit the high serve. Finding low back wall, making it difficult for Bryn there, and um, the servers will take a 15 love lead. Oh, another difficult ball, slightly he didn't really want to let that one bounce. Yeah, and it's a good serve from Nicky, catching that slightly ropey pl last plank of the penthouse at Queens. How just as soon as it seems like Ben and Bryn are coming back into yeah. this, um, Rob and Nick just respond with some better. shot like that. Yeah, there you go. Fourth grill piece. I think this this is anyone's set to be honest. Mm, five four service endo. That'd be one of your chase here, Ben and Bryn. And that is out. And game five games to four. All right. Can they fight back and make this a nervy 5 all? They've won four out of the last five games. Faye and Howell, that is set winning form. That's a short serve. Oh. Such strong volume from Brett. Yeah. Really good. And again. Could be in. Yeah, oh, he drives it in main with Tambo. It's a brilliant rally. A little bit of a slightly worrying hot back from Brim. I hope he's You keep spotting that. You're like an injury um, eagle eye, aren't you? Just hope he managed to get to the match. To be honest, God, I try to think what you say about my games. Sorry, <laughs> actually, fine. I'm rarely oh. hopping around. He's got a six-inch six inch tear in his hamstring. Yeah, can yeah, you exactly. diagnose people? Oh, then that's one of the first signs of um. Not frustration, but maybe a slightly more erratic shot choice from Ben this match. Mm. I think so far it's been pretty... Um, it's, just a, it's just about being at, at the service end. Yeah, I feel like at this level where everyone's hitting the right shot 99% of the time and executing it well, it's just about who's going to crack first, really. Yeah, I completely agree. Oh, and as has yeah. been the way for the majority of the last 30 years, Rob Faye does not crack. No, he hasn't. Sets up three set points for Faye and Howell. Good serve. Oh, Ooh. Ben finding a length where he needed it. Know, yeah, Rob choosing to let that one go to the back wall was slightly interesting. I think, to be honest, the width and the width had beaten yeah, him. Not maybe there wasn't that much choice. Yeah, he had to leave that, but I mean, he read that it was going to be a challenging ball. Is it? No. Oh, we all wanted that to drop, didn't we? 
not going out. Oh, no. That's really good. Oh, oh wow. what a rally this is. I'll tell you what, Bert, yeah. this has been a thoroughly entertaining game. 6-3. 6 4 to Faye and Howell. There have been some brilliant rallies, but Faye and Howell just ultimately yeah, been I mean, too good. In this match, it's not, it's not really enough to just be finding your targets because the they're, vol they're volleying the ball out of the grill. I'll tell you what, if they're, out collecting, the gallery. if they're collecting some balls, I'm, I'm going to go, go get for a my quick coat. Walk. Yeah, I'm going to go get yeah. my coat. Uh, we'll see you shortly, guys. Just while we have a quick change of ends let's have a look at some of the statistics from that first set um, it's been a thoroughly enjoyable match uh, so far uh, we've got uh, don't forget we've got more to come today but anyway let's have a look at some of the statistics from the first set uh, we can see Still, so remember that the, the number of, of openings you're going to get in a uh, uh, in a doubles match is a lot lower than you'll get in singles. Um, two identical chase links, but that chase is laid by the Fay and Howe pair, the Australians. 32% is ridiculously high from doubles. Throughout the week, we've seen a lot more closer to the the 17 to 20% range, which means they are very very economical at getting down to the service end. Uh, which is such an important okay, part of serve. the game. We're now going to be set. underway uh, here in the third set. Uh, Rob to serve. We've seen quite a few going to hazard second today. When you're playing in doubles, um, because you've got uh, at this level uh, the guy on the right floating up to defend the winning gallery, you have to put it a lot shorter. You've got a lot more hazard seconds than you will in the singles game. Let's have a look now at. Uh, the the final point of that last set. Bryn and Ben batting very well to get into it, but not to be. The yeah, Australians with a two love lead. So as a reminder, we do have more tennis for you later on this afternoon after this match is concluded. Uh, we will be bringing you the second double semi-final uh, between John Lumley and Steve Agona and the Americans. Tim Chisholm and Camden Riviere. This is a short break waiting for, for Rob to towel his hands off. Has it the second gallery? No strokes. We have a hazard second gallery chase now. Love chase worse than a yard. So the servers take the first point of the set. And I'm going to hand you back now to our commentators, Bertie Vallant and Robert Shankman. Sorry about that. Hey guys. Sorry I've been away. Guess we're um, cold at the top. Oh, I feel better now, too. Uh, I don't know whether Ben's answered this question. He'll probably know, be better informed than I am. Oh, wow. Um, Tom, I know that they are Bickley courts. I don't know whether they're the first, though. Um, which courts are Bickley? Whether these two are. I um, don't know whether they're the first. I think Tom Carew Hunt will be right. <laughs> yeah. He knows these kind of things. To be honest, most, most, most UK courts have been tampered with by him at some point, right? 
hampered, yeah, exactly. Oh, oh no. That one just getting a bit big on Nicky. I've seen a few racket drops from Nicky. Even though he's playing really good tennis and winning a British Open semi final. It's <laughs> um. quite dry, I like that. I mean, they've won 71 points to a 51. FA and Howe. So, comfortably ahead. Yeah, that's a good hit. Shaping there for the cut volley. 40. Shows how advantageous it is to have um, a sort of forehand, like a high forehand volley. Mm, I'll just grab yeah. that well. Overhead, maybe? Oh, that's a great shot. <laughs> just this sport's so good. This is, this is an onslaught. Surely a change of pace here. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's class. Second gallery, such good play. The more excitable of us would have uh, definitely taken on the fourth force. Yep. Rob, re Rob recognising that Bryn and Ben are a long way back and just taking the, the chase, yeah. playing the numbers there. That's a really good video of uh, Nicky's uh, dead on there. Oh, as I, uh, I'm kindly um, having a blanket wrapped around me by Mr. Sidney Yankson. Now we'll look it's like a smurf. 30, I think he's trying to shut you up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> trying to stuff the blanket. Wrapping it around your face. Stuff the blanket in my mouth. <laughs> Second gap. <laughs> so yeah, second gallery to beat. And ben wins it easy. Game. One game to love. Well, Sayers and Taylor Matthews won the first, first game, game the last set. Third set. That one not quite going as planned. Oh, brilliant. Fifteen left. Side gallery is still pretty busy. Obviously, I can see the dead on uh, when I went downstairs to get my coat. Dead on filling up as well for our other fantastic semi final between uh, John Lumley and Steve Vagona and Tim Chisholm and Camden Riviere. Yeah, great shot from Brim. He's able to gallery. change the direction of the ball and change the pace of the ball so mm -hmm. well on that double hander. And I think also, I mean, maybe it's the two hands or maybe it's the close stance, but it always feels very like disguised when he does yeah, it. Yeah, it feels like it's a, a shock, really shock factor, right? Yeah. I think it's the close stance you talk about there. I'll tell you what, as the week's gone on, but our commentary's become that much more insightful. <laughs> We've come a long way since last Sunday. Alex Dieter, is the doubles final happening today as well? No, the doubles final. Good, good Tuesday, evening, right. Alex. Um, the doubles final is Tuesday at two p.m. I think. Um, yeah, we have two, but we have two semi-finals today. The second of which is um, John Lumley and Steve Agona versus Cam and Tim. For you guys so watching out there, um, that replay here is an absolute exhibition of how to play a uh, cup volley from Ben Matthews. And Taylor Matthews, so fantastic winning winning the chase. Um, as it's 30 15 to Bryn and Ben, and uh, two nearly identical chases. I quite like how Rob's put his jacket on now, they're two sets up because <laughs> he wasn't working hard enough already. I, um, I hit with Steve at the start of the tournament, and um, I that was my first introduction to the Steve going the cross court drill. Oh, and after the first hour and 45 minutes, I was pretty, mm. I felt pretty much done. And I, I, I said, I was, I was saying, I, maybe we should wrap up. And he, and at that moment, he said how cold it was on court and put his jumper back on. <laughs> Chase is nearly yard worse, and Nicky opts into beat it, beat that by hitting the dead on, which is a brave choice. But wow, what a shot! Oh, it's up. Really good cut shot from Nick. Recognising the need to uh, cut that one off the roof. Rob Fay is so good when the ball's around his ankles, by the way. Mm. And he has to sort of adjust. Brilliant. Oh, 
such a good back as well. The yeah. best, the best mover on the tour, isn't he, Rob? Rob Fay. Yeah. Is in, is in like how efficient? Oh, I don't know how efficient it is. Yeah, I tell. Yeah, I mean, yeah. obviously, I'd back Camden to reach more balls, but mm. I think he's so efficient. Like always in the right place, feet never off the ground. He's always got the most well, weight um, going the into door. the ball. And when, he, and when he is near the ball, he still makes all those micro adjustments as well. That you can share oh, Burr, stop jinxing him, mate. Juice. Oops. Is that ball alright then? If you see it? Uh, yeah, he does. I agree, though. You are, you are right. He's always taking lots, lots of little yeah. steps, which every uh, coach in the world will tell you to do. Mm. So I'm not actually going to be here for the rest of this week, but for the finals, are you coming? Yeah, no. Oh wow, what a serve! No, I'm, I'm off this Sunday, and I won't actually. Are you able to watch YouTube at school? Yeah. Like after? Yeah. After lessons and that? Yeah, I can watch. That's fine. Oh. Hopefully, you've done your homework <laughs> before. You can watch YouTube at school. Yeah, yeah. you've done your homework beforehand, so you can watch the final. Um. Advantage, fate, and how? In a funny way, I mean, I think the. The finals might be the least exciting bear tennis for, for a while, actually. That's in. But how? Just because hey. of how close these one recent one. Se singles and doubles semi-finals have been. Mm. And the fact that you get a couple of them in one day makes it a lot more exciting to come down, I think. Yeah, definitely. But of course, um, the action does not end here, as I was saying. So even though... Neither me or more Bertie are going to be here for the finals um, on Monday and Tuesday. Um, do in would encourage everyone to buy a ticket and and pop down, not just watch the excellent streaming because, as we know, it's much better in person. I feel like for next British Open there should be like built-in earpieces, like MP3 players that could um, that people can sort of sit in the dead on and listen to the commentary with. That would be like our latest edition. Yeah. Also. By the way, that is this is an unreal rally. Oh, Rob looking pretty irate. Uh, what a fantastic I volley from Brent. I don't think Rob's made many kind of racket errors like that this whole no. match. Thirty love to Brent and Ben. Always going to be issues good shot there, Ben Nicky. running up to, to Ben. Yeah, it's a good shot. The winning gallery. There's Joe Giddens' comments on my um, blanket and coat. Oh, that was an interesting piece of play. 40 15. Sayers and Taylor Matthews lead in this game. No chases. Oh, yeah, so great music. Really, that really half really volley shot. into the winning gallery is such a difficult shot. Mm. So difficult to get the weight. 40. Right. Not hit that ball high. Pointless at one on the third. 40 30. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, Nick so you yeah. talk about micro adjustments there, the little um, yeah. piece of footwork Jeez. Nick was doing to get his feet in the right he's position to hit that winning gallery. He's been finding his targets really well this match. Yeah, and all week to be honest, it's just yeah. relentless. It's just relentless. Yeah. Oh, straight time, we're just getting the better of Ben there. Pretty unlucky. And how bring up a game point. Oh. 
great shot. Great hold from Bryn. Yeah. Shaping to go um, into the galleries and uh, just pulling that one into the main wall dead on. Fantastic shot. Hmm, interesting serve. Been a while. Diet Coke, because I've got a feeling this one could go on for a while. Oh, been just it's not quite able to generate enough power on that. Yeah, back mean, to Juice. Well, ben and Brim, what, 40 15 up in this game? Yeah, all yeah. it took was a few good, good oh, serves. Two, well, two winning galleries from Nicky, wasn't it? Oh, my word, it's a sort of trick PK. Ben that did something very weird on the penthouse. I think, I think it hit the ski ramp. Rob almost hit underneath that like, with yeah. a bit of top spin. Yeah, kicked down a bit, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I've never seen anything like it. Good serve. Just missed the winning gallery there. Ben on the attack here. Oh, what a volley. Oh, oh wow. wow. Do you know who hit that ball? I couldn't quite see from sitting up here. Was that Rob with the volley? I think it was Rob. Advantage, chase the door. Just brilliant again from Faye. I've just been so impressed with these two today. Um, mm. Just how good they are at um, keeping the pace on the ball and the volleys. So accurate as well. Like. Yeah, it's proper doubles. They're a great combination. They really are exciting yeah. to watch. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Because two players who are both very... I mean, no one's similar to Rob, but, you know, mm. aggressive aggressive style. I think, to be fair, Nick is the one player in the world who's similar to um, to Rob. As Advantage Australia are looking at them to win the Cricket the World Cup final. So <laughs> Faye and Hal, um, yeah, Ben Gaten being loving that. On Aussie himself. Oh. So chase the door to beat for Faye and Hal. Oh. Yeah. I'm not even sure he had to hit that. I think he did. I think he did. Oh no. Second gallery. Yeah. Yeah, he's not going to miss out on that. Uh, Game, two games, one. Just seeing yeah, a sign of frustration from Ben there, racket drop. I mean, I think he was looking for the hazard there and missed quite high. This so. is the thing with doubles that you have to be so accurate. But it's like, such a high level. Like yeah, He's not really actually given up anything this match. Like it's in, just in like singles, you can't. You, you have a guy who's... You don't have a guy who's blocking those galleries. You don't have and a guy this who's level, blocking the grip. Like that one error will stick out because everything... You know, because you can't miss a ball like that. Oh no. Oh no. 15 left. And Nick um, finding the down there. Yeah, yeah. hook volley again, three. pegging Ben back. It's a good serve as well, but Nick is just, yeah, so strong on that. Just the, the length, I think Ben wants to take that early, but just Nick slightly beating him to the side wall. Thugged into the back wall. I wonder, out in Aiken, who, who will Nicky be training with? I think he gets out there quite a lot on his own. So he still yeah. loves the game, loves experimenting with different serves and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's anyone for him to necessarily hit with who's his level, but I know that on his travels, likes to get a hit in at Boston with Nick. Uh, not with Nick, with uh, Leon, sorry. Quite and far from Camden's Aiken. there as well. Yeah, I guess Aiken's pretty much in the middle of nowhere tennis-wise, but I mean, I think he's still yeah. able to get lots of hits in if he needs yeah. to. Okay, 15 love service, chase two and three. Two and three to beat. Two and three. Yeah, 
Let's get served. 30 love, chase 5. Bubble serve can be just so effective at Queens with that slightly difficult to read penthouse and that back wall, low half of the back wall does take it. It can roll out quite a lot. Ah. Uh, That's unfortunate. Yeah. Love. Just keep it a bit low there, but it was chase 5, so not the easiest one to beat in doubles. 40 love, Fayen Howe, one way traffic at the moment. Great read from Nick. Oh, Ben, what a pick. Oh, oh, so unlucky. That would have been a very awkward ball for Nicky. I think he'd have had to volley that. Yeah. yeah. But then it'd be one of them where, by the time you've waited to see if actually coming over, it's probably like net high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, 3-1 to the second seeds. Yeah. Um, and they are three games away. I mean, I wouldn't. Wow. Just been showing the photo by Sid Youngson. Uh, I think that's Boston. Himself, Richard Dalzell, and uh, who's that? Hurling him towards Boston with a young Camden Riviere. Oh, Bryn again is definitely limping there. Something's Thank going you. on with his right leg. Both on injury cam today. Yeah, no, I just I just saw it then. I mean it's un I mean if anything in G it's probably gonna be five sets against John Lumley, so two right in G break, break your heart left. as well Sorry, as your legs. Gallery, yeah, it's been quite an emotional tournament actually, quite a few close five setters. Quite a few close games end off. Good striking from Ben. Fifteen thirty. Better than five. Second gallery and better than five. Fifteen thirty. Oh yeah, what's the last? <laughs> what's happening on the YouTube chat, Bert? And not an awful lot, but we have got 120 people watching, which That's is good. That's very good. Sunday afternoon viewing, prime time. Um, There's no football on, so real tennis doesn't have to compete with the football for the first time this season. Um, international break, of course. But yeah, Bryn and Ben back down to the service end. Um, 15, 13, receivers lead, Bryn, always, chase um, the last gallery. Always last good gallery. home support for Bryn. Shot from Nicky. From Nick to beat last gallery. Tensible shot. Just beating Bryn to the side wall there. Let's go lose the chase. Lost the chase. 30 40. So I was thinking, Bertie, with our like little monitor that we've got here, um, how long will it be until we can do analysis? Like drawing on it with sort that of. That would be very cool. Do you know what I mean? I was thinking about that the other day. Well, I do that in. Um, in like football, do you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Analysis. What with offside and stuff like that? yeah. It's cool. you can have a whole guy challenge. Yeah, so you could say, oh, you see like Rob's movement and you draw lines like as we see the players. Um, like on the replay, you could draw the trajectory of the ball. Again, these are all innovations which I've yeah, I'll trademark. I mean, I mean, I've obviously got the technical knowledge to be able to do that kind of thing. Um, live, live annotations on a stream. 30, 40, I chase, think a cup, I mean, I, I think I would enjoy it, but I think some people might <laughs> might just want to watch the tennis. To be honest. Alex Dyer expecting loads of views for the singles finals. <gasps> Me too. Oh, Great get. Oh, oh it's done really well. So there. tight. I was like squash. Yeah. Tight down the wall, juice. Juice. Well. Oh. 
so tight. So tight. Yeah. Literally it's nothing spot. you can do there. Like you just have to be so precise in doubles. Yeah. Howell and Faye are doing a great job of being um, that accurate. I mean, if Rob and Nicky do take a 4-1 lead, I, I do find it difficult to see how how Ben and Brim will come back from that. I agree. So this is a very, very big game. Good yeah, shot great ben. shot. It's a lovely main wall force. Jeez. Six. Juice. As Ben rolls one out to uh, bed in the six. And yep. second gallery. Two chases. Two chases. So never a bad idea to find the gallery. Patient if you can. play from Sayers and Taylor Matthews. Jack Joseph's up here again. Mentally preparing for marking the next semi final, which is going to be an absolute blockbuster affair. I can see Jack doing reaction challenges, Juice warming his eyesight better up, than six. Better than six. reading the rule book just to make sure he's got his tape measure out for the height of the net. Very tight. Chase's second gallery. So it obviously looked like that ball just went straight out, but clipped Bryn's racket on the way through. In a doubles Advantage. partnership, having one guy who can generate generate that, that amount of pace off a sort of standing ball yeah, is good. Yeah, of a still ball is really but good here. Yeah. But having two guys in that in the team that can do that, wow. Yeah. Yeah, it is I mean, I'll Nick fuck. just hit that with absolute fury, didn't he? So we've got Nick and Rob both um, generating a lot of pace there off uh, pretty slow penthouse balls. Oh, thanks so much. Chase better than the last gallery, advantage servers better than the last gallery. So we've gone from Ben and Bryn having the advantage to servers advantage, and this is for a 4 1 lead. I think. It's a good hit. Oh, it was tight. Oh, Ooh. Nick going for the hazards. Jeez. Yeah, miscued that slightly. He had the angle, but uh, too much spin put on it by Bryn. all over that shot though, had oh it gone no. over. Sprint into the net. As Tim Edwards has just put um, some fantastic photos on of this first semi, which are on Facebook right now. Oh, it's in. It's oh in. no, great shot. Game, full game 
Game 4-1 as the match timer uh, just ticks past the two-hour mark. Oh, Rob going for it again. Has it the second gallery? No strips. Sometimes there's really slow ones where you've got too much time to think yeah. um, some of the more difficult balls. And Especially on this, under this kind of pressure as yeah. well. When, you, when you've well, got more than one option. It feels a little bit like wherever he, wherever he puts the ball, yep. Bob and Nicky are returning it with interest. I agree. It's on the penthouse, Rob Faye. Here we go. Oh, another failed lob. Ben Prince is a little good. bit deflated here. I don't mind that from Bryn and Ben though, like, again, if there's going to be one person who's going to drive a ball through, um, Nick and Rob, it's going to be Ben, so, yeah, not execute that well, but it's a good option. That's a lob from Bryn. Bryn, yeah, Bryn really not moving like his normal self. Yeah, he's not, he's really struggling by the looks of things. I think, um... Cramp? I think he seems to be taking this quite, you know, lightheartedly there. It's gone out. Oh, staying in the it's corner. 40 love, and has a chase. Yeah, he's really struggling on that right leg. 40 love, has it the second gallery. As so we get a replay, Faye and Hal, bit of a fist pump. Yeah, they know they're close. They've played a really good match, to be fair. Yeah, they have. They've not really, like Bryn not really missed much. They haven't given Ben and Bryn anything to work with. Bryn and, Bryn and Ben have had glimmers of hope, but they've just been they've snuffed been out. Finding their targets really well. Obviously trying to beat a hazard chase, Nick Howell. Great. Oh, oh no. Great defense from Ben. So how well constructed that point was from that um, Nicky and Rob. Can I be a bit more from where that came from? 15.40 All the way out 30.40 Oh yes Hazard oh. Hazard half Half the yard, thank you. 30-40, hazard, half the yard. 30-40, server's lead. Hazard chase, half the yard. Hazard. Yes, great shot from Nick. Oh, Nicky. wow. Really, really Brilliant good. balance from Nick Howell. Finishes that hazard yeah, off. Um, it had to be a winning gallery there. It that angle. I forget it was hazard half a yard, so. Five but also, one. just from that angle, like. like I'm surprised he didn't run into the net, but. Yeah, no, he's done really well there. Oh, too close yeah. for Tamba. I noticed how on that high serve, I think you'd probably call it a chandelle. Rob's hitting around the outside of the ball and it's sort of kicking on, it's not really coming back in, so he's hitting it relatively short and it looks like it's um, coming on to bed. Oh. As he misses a volley, mm -hmm. characteristically. You can see there how it kicks deeper. Oh, oh, how? Not up. Oh, oh, Bryn really 13, did hop 15. there. 
I think Brim might be a little bit relieved to be off court and only three sets in the way. Mm. Yeah. But Either amazing way, that, to that see that shot from Rob on the replay. Pick off, that pick off the back wall, off the side wall is unbelievable. It's a great cut. Chase worse than two. 30 15. Brynn getting a good chase. Into the room. Well, that is the first match point for um, Rob and Nicky. Two, so worse than two to beat. And uh, who better person to try and beat worse than two than Rob Faye? <laughs> what shot would you be hitting now, Bert? Uh, it was, depends on the serve, surely. All right, um, I'm going to give you an underarm twist. Better than two. What are you trying to beat? Me? I'd probably back myself to beat that on the floor, to be honest. Oh. I wouldn't want a, a force volley, I don't know. <laughs> And I think I know a Rob will do though. I think he's going to try and hit this as hard as he yeah, can. Yeah, try and hit it through, through them. Yeah. Through someone. Two. Worse than two. Worse than two chase. It's got oh. volley. Over hits. Lost the chase. 30, oh. 40. Don't. When you get match point, you get like tense. You're like, oh my god, yeah, this is my yeah, moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. A bit more juice in that than it would have been normally. Ball in the penthouse to win the match. Yes, they ends shot. it with the main wall dead on. 6 3, 6 4, 6 1. Fantastic game of doubles, that. Some wonderful rallies. Ultimately, mm -hmm. Faye and Howell just too good. Uh, yeah, but been, I assume you agree. It's been a great level, but um, but yeah, no, I, I think Robin, Robin Nicky definitely deserve the win there. Um, just really making more balls, finding more targets. And the match to Rob uh, we'll see the stats in a bit, but I think keeping the server for six longer. Um, yeah, but I mean, yeah, more of everything. I mean, that's Ben and Brim put up a good fight, but probably um, slightly more yeah. one size than I thought. But they were just so a little bit. Matters. But Rob was Rob looked very fresh and actually oh, very up, the very up for that. So and Brim obviously didn't look. Um, Twenty-one targets on for court. Faye and Howell, and just the fifteen for Sayers and Taylor Matthews. Um, uh, Points one. So yeah, considerably more points one for yeah, Rob and Nicky. The Aussies also served more than fifty more points than yeah. um, Bryn and Ben. No, so. it's a good match though. Great match. I agree. Um, um, the match was exactly two hours zero minutes, so not including the warm up, we uh, we were in quite, play for two it's hours. It's quite long for three sets as well. I mean, that's always going to happen in doubles, I think. But yeah, um, doubles is yeah. again a great match and. Uh, this next semi-final is, is going to be fireworks. So I yeah. hope you guys will tune in for that. We'll be watching. Might, necessar might not necessarily be commentating. I'm going to look forward to taking this uh, blue, blue blanket off because it's cold without it. Anyway, guys. Right. Uh, Thanks, everyone. See you soon.